Hey guys, it's World of Animals here. Welcome back to another video. And I'm really sorry that I was not able to post last week. I was very busy and I was planning to post a video on Sunday. But then I got caught up with some work I had to do. But I'm here now and I hope you enjoyed this video about tape ears. So without further ado, let's get into the video. Now, what type of tape ears are there? There are four different types of tape ears. The four types are the South American tape ear. Barrett's tapir, mountain tapir, and the tape tapirus, and we pronounce this senunis, which is an extinct species of tapirs. And sorry if I pronounce them wrong. And basically, this one on the left is a South American tapir. This one right here is a Barrett's, and this one's a mountain. And you can tell the difference between them because of their colors and colors in their hair. This one doesn't have a lot of hair compared to this one's very hairy, and this one is like in the middle. Now, where do tape ears live? You mainly find tape ears in Central America and South America. They usually live in forests, grassland, forest and grasslands in South and Central America. So yeah, over here on the right on the map is where you can find the tape ears. In Central America, it's like going all the way up here to the U.S. Now, what is the tape ear lifespan? The average lifespan for a tapir is 25 to 30 years in the wild, but in captivity, around 40, because they're fed well and taken care of. Now, how big can a tapir be? A tapir can weigh around 500 pounds and be 5.9 to 8 feet long, which is pretty long, and that's a, almost the height of a basketball hoop. A basketball hoop. Now, what is their diet? Tapirs eat leaves, grass, fruits, and bushes because they're herbivores. And herbivores just eat plant-based foods and they do not eat any food that's off of animals. Now, tapir babies. Tapir moms are pregnant for 13 months and then give birth to one baby at a time. Baby tapirs are called calves just like baby cows and they start to stand a couple hours after birth. They can also weigh from 15 to 22 pounds when they are born. And something I should want to point out about this is that about how they have to stand up within a couple hours of them being born. This is actually the same thing for a lot of animals like giraffes and elephants because if you're in a if you're in, actually not elephants but mainly giraffes and tapirs because tapirs predators are jaguars, croc um Amazon alligators or crocodiles and basically they have to get up and be able to run away before prey come predators come and That's the same thing with giraffe babies And if they are not be able to if they don't stand up in time their parents are gonna leave them to die, which is very very sad And now fun facts Tapirs are often called living fossils because a lot of the tapirs in the world are off of that one type of tapir called the tapirs Sur Surinese. Now the closest relatives that tapirs have are rhinos and horses. And the reason why is because you can kind of tell on this tapir up here it has horse, horse teeth and its back is kind of like a rhino's back. Now the calves are camf camouflaged. So if I go back to the slide you can kind of tell that these tapir babies have these lines and it's to help them camouflage from predators. Now they have a prehensile nose which is similar to elephants and prehensile just means like they can move their nose up and down and left to right and it's kind of like an elephant nose and they are exceptional swimmers which basically means they're good at swimming and last but not least they can eat 75 pounds of food per day and let's think about this if a tapir weighs 500 pounds and it eats 75 pounds of food a day do them after that how many pounds would they be weighing if they didn't walk around because they'd be gaining about 625 pounds. But then they burn off that fat super quickly. And just to give you a comparison to humans. The average human eats 3 to 5 pounds of food per day. Compared to this animal eating literally 70 more pounds of food than we do. So if also we think about this. they If us humans would have 70 pounds. 75 pounds of food every day. We would have to be eating 25 pounds of food in every meal, which would be crazy. And 
that's the end of the video guys thank you for watching sorry i have not been posting consistently but i'm gonna try my best to get back to posting consistently and have a good day or night and like the video if you want and see you on the next video